Introduction The first day a teacher enters into your classroom. What do you say to the teacher? You all wish a very good morning to the teacher. Suppose, if all the doors in your room are closed, then how can you guess whether anyone is crossing the room? Yes, you can identify it by hearing the footsteps of the person. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to understand that sound is caused by vibrations, know about the musical instruments, identify the sound from musical instruments, understand how sound is produced and propagated by humans, acquire knowledge where the sound requires a medium for propagation, understand the propagation of sound in liquids and solids, analyze the working of human ear, define amplitude, time period and frequency of a vibration, distinguish between loudness and pitch, Analyze the audible and inaudible sounds. Differentiate between noise and music. Understand about the noise pollution and its control measure. Sound is produced by a vibrating body. Sound is a pressure distribution that moves through a medium in the form of mechanical waves. When a force is exerted on an atom, it moves from its rest or equilibrium position and exerts a force on the adjacent particles. These adjacent particles are moved from their rest position and this continues throughout the medium. This transfer of energy from one particle to the next is how sound travels through a medium. The words mechanical wave is used to describe the distribution of energy through a medium by the transfer of energy from one particle to the next. Sound waves that travel parallel to the direction of the particle movement are called longitudinal waves. However, it is possible to produce other types. Waves which move perpendicular to the direction of particle movement are called transverse waves. After the train crosses the station, if you keep your ear on the rail track, you can clearly hear the vibrations in the rail track. This confirms that sound travels through solids. How is sound produced by human beings? Voice box in human. Sound is produced by the voice box or the larynx in humans. The part which moves when you swallow is known as voice box, which is at the upper end of the windpipe. Two vocal cords are stretched across the voice box. When lungs force air, vocal cords vibrate producing sound. When the vocal cords are tight and thin, the type or quality of voice is different from that when they are loose and thick. Sound requires a medium for propagation. Place an electric bell in an air-filled jar. You can hear the sound of the electric bell which is ringing. Now suck out the air from the jar using the vacuum bump. As you suck the air out, the sound starts fainting. As all the air sucked out, the sound fully faints. This experiment confirms that a medium is required for the propagation of sound. Sound travels through solids. Ask your friend to hit the bench using a stick at one corner. Keep your ear on the bench at the other corner. As your friend hit the bench, you can hear the sound at the other corner. This confirms that sound travels through solids. Sound travels through air, gases. What you hear is the propagation of sound through air. If there is no air, we can't hear the sound inside the room. We all hear the sound of moving flight. It is due to the propagation of sound through air, gases, which reaches our ear. Sound travels through water, liquids. Place the bell in a beaker filled with water and make it sound. You can hear the sound which confirms that sound can travel through liquids. Communication between dolphins also confirms that sound travels through liquids as well. We hear sound through our ears. The shape of the outer part of the ear is like a funnel. Sound enters 
and travels down a canal at the end of which a thin membrane is stretched tightly called eardrum. Sound vibrations make the eardrum vibrate and the eardrum sends vibrations to the inner ear and through inner ear it goes to the brain. This is how we hear sound. Amplitude Time period Frequency Amplitude Amplitude of the sound is nothing but the loudness or the amount of maximum displacement of the particles while the sound is produced. When the amplitude of the vibration is large, the sound produced is loud. When the amplitude is small, the sound is feeble. Frequency of sound. The number of oscillations per second is called the frequency of the oscillation. Frequency is expressed in terms of hertz. Loudness and pitch. Loudness depends on the amplitude of vibrations. Loudness of sound is proportional to the square of the amplitude of the vibration producing the sound. If the amplitude becomes twice, the loudness increases by a factor of four. The loudness is expressed in a unit called decibel dB. The following table gives some idea of the loudness of sound coming from various sources. Above 80 dB, the noise becomes physically painful. Pitch the two sounds are equally loud, they differ in some way. The difference in sound is due to the shrillness or pitch of the sound. If the sound has high frequency, then it has high pitch or shrillness. If the frequency of vibration is low, then it has low pitch, that is, vibration of drums. Audible sounds. Sounds which we can hear is about 20 hertz to 20,000 Hertz. These sounds are called audible sounds. Ultrasonic sounds. These squirrels communicate with each other with a frequency greater than 20,000 Hertz. These sounds are called ultrasonic. Dogs, whales have the ability to hear ultrasonic sounds. The ultrasonics are used to take the scan pictures of various vital organs. Infrasonic sounds. Sounds which have frequency less than 20 Hz are termed as infrasonics. Music and noise. Sounds which are pleasant to hear are called as music. Here we have number of instruments which produces pleasing sound. Noise. Sounds which gives discomfort to hear. Such unpleasant sounds are called as noise. For example, when a cup of glass breaks, it produces noise. Noise pollution and its control. Presence of excessive or unwanted sounds in the environment is called noise pollution. The major cause for noise pollution is sounds of vehicles, explosions including bursting of crackers, machines, loudspeakers, etc. Television and transistor radio at high volumes, some kitchen appliances, desert coolers, air conditioners all contribute to noise pollution. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Sound is produced by vibrating objects and it is carried in all directions in a medium. The to and fro or back and forth motion of an object is termed as vibration. In humans, the sound is produced by the voice box or the larynx. Sound needs a medium to travel. The sound cannot travel through vacuum. We hear sound through our ears. Position is called the amplitude of vibration. The to and fro motion of an object is called oscillation motion. The number of oscillations or vibrations per second is called the frequency of oscillation. The frequency of a body is expressed in hertz. Larger the amplitude of vibration, louder is the sound. Higher the frequency of vibration, the higher is the pitch, or shrill is the sound. For human ears, the range of audible frequencies is roughly from 20 to 20,000 hertz. The presence of excessive or unwanted sound in the atmosphere is called noise pollution. Major causes of noise pollution are sounds of vehicles, explosions including bursting of crackers, machines, 
loudspeakers, etc. Plantation on the roadside and elsewhere can reduce the noise pollution.